Come to my circle where stories are told. Come to my circle where stories are told. Sit on my carpet, we fly to a land. Sit on my carpet, we fly to a land. A land of animals. One bright sunny morning in the countryside, a bumblebee was flying. Jumping from flower to flower, drinking their sweet nectar. Its coat was a beautiful velvety black and his buzz was very loud. He did not notice where he was flying and he went and bang splat against a spider's web. He was stuck. The spider saw all this and he crouched under a leaf watching what was happening. He did not like bumblebees. He was scared of bumblebees. What if the bumblebee stung it? He would be in lots of pain. And so he watched. And also this bumblebee was not small. If it was small, the spider would have gone and broken its web so that the bumblebee would have fallen on the ground, cleaned its wings and flown away. This bumblebee was a little bit big and so he watched. The bumblebee tried and tried and tried but he was stuck and stuck and stuck on the web and he started crying for help. Help me! Help me! Help me! A brown sandy rabbit was playing close by, rolling on the green grass. He heard a sound and he went to look as to who was calling out. He went closer and closer and closer and he saw the spider's web with a big fat bumblebee stuck in the web. He went closer and said, what is the matter? The bumblebee said, I am stuck, I am stuck, I am stuck and I do not know how to come out of the spider's web. Will you help me? The rabbit nodded his head. He went closer and with his paws, he broke the spider's web and down fell the bumblebee. He wiped his wings and before he flew away, he went to the rabbit to thank him. Oh dear kind rabbit, thank you very much. Thank you for helping me. I may be small, but sometime in life, whenever you need help, I will come to help you. The rabbit heard it and started laughing. <laughs> I accept your thanks, Bumblebee, but... I am so big and you are so small. I don't think you can help me. Now off you fly away. And the bumblebee flew away. Meanwhile, the spider went back to his web and started making a new web. He was happy that the bumblebee had saved itself and flown away. After a few days, on another bright sunny morning, the rabbit was playing in the countryside, rolling in the green grass, playing with the flowers and the mushrooms. He was unaware. Behind him, a fox, a red fox was hiding. Hiding in the bush where nobody could see it. The fox had been noticing the rabbit since the last few days and today was his chance. Mama and Papa Rabbit were in their hole and the shepherd boy was not to be seen. Now was his chance. He could eat the yummy, yummy rabbit. Ooh, finally, he could pounce on the rabbit and eat it. He was just planning to pounce on the rabbit. And there flew the bumblebee. He wondered, what is 
that red fox doing hiding in the shrub? And he looked at where the fox was looking. Uh-oh, he is looking at the rabbit. That is my friend, the rabbit who saved me a few days ago. I should go and help him. And he thought of a plan. And he cut it. He flew slowly to the fox who was getting ready to pounce on the rabbit and went and quickly stung his nose. A hard big sting and flew away. And the fox, oh, 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 I've been bitten, I've been bitten by this bumblebee on my nose. And he started shaking, he started shaking, rustling all the leaves and the shrubs in the bush. And, and he was in lots of pain with his tail bobbing up and down. The rabbit stopped when he heard the sounds. He turned behind and he saw a red tail going up and down. He ran from there screaming, Fox, 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 Red Fox, run! Hearing this alarm, the other animals ran away. And the fox was in pain with a red nose. He knew that all the animals knew that he was in the shrub. Angry with the bumblebee, he ran away from there. The rabbit was just reaching his hole and the bumblebee flew towards him. Oh rabbit, oh rabbit, dear rabbit, I am the same bumblebee who you had saved a few days ago. The rabbit thanked him for his help and the bumblebee said, it's all right. I may be small, you may be big. I may be small, you may be big, but don't you see, very often small creatures can help big creatures. So children, what do you think? Was the bumblebee right? Small creatures can help big creatures. My story has been taken from the book The Bumblebee and the Rabbit by Enid Blyton. And I am Poini Mehta, your storyteller. Thank you.